like Matalana is a big up clamming down the song. I meant they get to use them up every year. Money plan, all this stuff a million till they reach a million. Yes, 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 people. That's right, people. The great sounds, the great vibes each and every time. Miguel, wealthy. You know what? He's joining us live and direct. Right here on the Big Bad Station with yours truly, DJ Cat the Catalyst. Big shout out to everybody tuning in, shedding lots of love, lots of blessings. And you know how we do it. We've got to make sure that we play each and every great tune, okay? So make sure you keep it locked. And of course, a big shout out to everybody feeling that vibe, okay? But right now, Miguel Wolf is here, ready to join us live and direct. Are you there? Now we are where? Hey, hey. Blessings, blessings, blessings. So of course... You've got to introduce yourself. Let the people know who is Miguel Wealthy. Tell us. Well, Miguel Wealthy is a lyrical thesaurus, you know, a prolific composer, and yeah. is the lyrical magician. So whenever I get a beat, you know what I mean, I'm going to make it become something you're going to want to listen to for a lifetime. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, I hear that, I hear that. So, you know, people are already asking, why have you called yourself Miguel Wealthy? They're already sending me a whole heap of messages. Is it to do with money? What is it What is it all about? The wealth is the power in the music, the message that I'm putting out there for my fans, for my consumers. You know and I mean, that is the, that is the wealth. Yeah. It's not just by um, materialistic things or just yeah, your, 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 your possessions in life. It's not just about that. It's about, it's about the, the message, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, I hear that yeah. 100%. I like that message still. And of course, I'm always interested when it comes to artists. How did you get into this journey? How did this journey happen for you? Oh, I get into this journey? Yeah. Well, I'm born as a musician, you know. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just a, it's just a, a, a talent from the most side that's... You know what I mean? I, I over over the years, I I take take time work on my craft yeah. till I mastered it. So, you know what I mean? I, I've been doing music. You know what I mean? Music choose me. I didn't choose music. You know what I mean? I hear that. I hear that. So I hear as well when you were first starting off that it was quite difficult to get studio time and you know to go into different places and so forth. So how did you overcome that as an artist? Uh, basically in Jamaica where I'm from is like the, um, the rural area, the countryside. Yeah. So um, at that time, you know what I mean, going to school, there, there was um, a, a lot of studios, um, uh, uh, radio stations. So I had to move to Kingston where, where they, they had better opportunities for artists, you know what I mean? So yeah. when, you have a, when you have a goal... Uh, you have a passion for something and you believe in yourself or you believe in something that it doesn't matter what it is. Mm -hmm. But as long as you believe, you, you, you have to surround yourself where you can actually achieve um, whatever, whatever whatever your dream is, right? Yeah, man, I hear that. So I I had to move to Kingston, you know what I mean? And from Kingston, the rest is history to the world, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear that. I hear that for real. But you know what? I understand as well that you had a different name as well. Tell us about that journey and how come you had to change your name. Um, the name before Miguel Welty was um, Excellence, but I um, used to have a female, a female called herself Excellent, you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, I remember I was at an event and the female was on, on her head dancing and the selector was screaming the female name. I said, no, the way he was talking about the female, I said, that couldn't be me. You know what I mean? I, uh, so I say, you know what? Let me get a different name. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, my, my current name, Miguel, and the wealth is the message in the music. So, Miguel Welty, that is it. Yeah, I like that still. And you know, when it comes to the music now, who are some of your influences? Because you're very versatile, listening to your tunes and how you kind of project your, your message. You're very versatile in doing that. So, who inspires you? Uh, I, I listen. I listen. I listen to all different type of music. You know, okay. you know there different genres, different like artists, like foundation artists. You know, what I mean, we are talking about 
you know, we, not, we can't left out Bob Marley with anything because we grew up and listen to Bob, you know what I mean? We listen to artists like Grace, Gregory Isaac, you know what I mean? Dennis Brown, Garnet, Garnet Silk, you know what I mean? So we kind of kind of see it to the, the foundation side of the music where we, 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 we know about the roots and we know about the, 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 the you know what I mean? With the history of the music. Yeah. So are uh, in tune with that so so, so 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 i build my vibe from there and i and i and i you know ma i mastered that, 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 that vibe so i take that vibe now and then put it in a new vibe so it's like it's like i modify the, 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 okay. the old style with a new style you know what i mean yeah you know what it's interesting you say that because say if those you know some of those great artists artists that you mentioned if they were listening now what do you think they would say um they, they, they would say at least um, they, they, they would see that um, people people under the word that they are, that they are put in because yeah. most most times in Jamaica a lot of persons they go by who is current or who is relevant it's like after 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 um like your 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 peak season is over they they, they, they forget that they forget they forget the work you put in okay. so when when artists see that artists who coming up in the game actually respect them and honor them it's a plus they, they can't feel good about it that's what i'm saying yeah man i hear that definitely and i understand as well that your first track was get money enough tell us about this track so when 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 you when you grow i always grow and you grow around a lot of less less fortunate friends and stuff like that is like everybody want money the topic is money the topic yeah. is making money Hmm. You know what I mean? So everyone have the same goal, the same vision, make money, whatever you are do. If you are, if you are doing a if you are doing a mechanic job, yeah. If 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 you are if you are, if you are doing a if you are running a, running a, a passenger vehicle, a public passenger vehicle, which is a bus or a taxi or whatever, yeah. You're, you're trying to make money to feed your family. So yeah. everybody trying to also you in the you in the studio right now playing music, you're trying to feed your family. So. And that's why I say get money enough, make money enough, make money enough, bossy. Because <laughs> when you start make money now, people say hype. Yeah, I hear that. That's the other word to say hype, like you're bragging, but it's not bragging. You're proud. You're, 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 you're proud of yourself. You're proud of your success. There's nothing wrong with being proud mm -hmm. of your success. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I said get money enough, get money enough, get money enough, bossy. Get money enough, get money enough, get money enough, get money enough, bossy. Money long like matter, you understand me? Yeah. So you're living good, living lavish, you know what I mean? So make money, live, enjoy life. Yeah, man, I hear that. You know what I said? Make money, make money and buy guns or anything like that, you know what I mean? I said yeah. make money and live good, live bossy, yeah, enjoy man. life, build big house, apartment, investment, real estate. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hear that, I hear that. You know, we've got a question from a listener. They're asking, what are some of your main topics in your music? Like, what do you promote? Like, what are my main topics in my music? Yeah. I, I, listen, I, 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 I don't write music like the, the, the regular person. Okay. I write music based on a vibe. I don't think I have a, 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 a regular topic. I write all different type of music. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter what it is. I could make a song about it. I could just look at the. I could have be driving on the road and just make a song, just out of, out of nothing. Okay. You see what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's that's why I'm, I said I'm, I'm the compo I, I'm, I'm the prolific composer and the lyrical thesaurus. And you know, the lyrical thesaurus it is actually um, the virginary who consists of more words than the dictionary. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I hear that. I hear that. And I know as well yeah. that you did a counteraction dubbed caution. And I understand that that went crazy, that went wild. Tell us about that. Um, actually, the, the 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 producer put up the song as a counteraction, but the song was wasn't even a counteraction. The song okay. was a correction. Okay, okay. Tell us about this. Because the the the, the, um, the, 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 the artist that did the song was saying that the plane crashed. Okay. And I was saying that the plane did the crash. The plane land. Because if something crashed, that means it it, 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 it over with it mash up. You know what I mean? It's true. Yeah. So it never crashed. You understand? Know I mean? It 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 land. So that that's what caused a type of controversy about the song, you know what I mean? So, you know, people like the controversy type of music sometimes. So mm. I try to fit myself in, please different different type of fans, cause it, music and when I came to Europe twenty nineteen that, that it taught me a lot. Um 
that they out there in the world, every music have its space. Yeah. So um, that's why I, I don't categorize myself or, 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 or enclose myself in a, in, a, in a bracket where I do like one set of music or I focus on one issue and one topic. If I see something that is out of place, out of line, I'm gonna address it. If I see something that's gonna elevate the nation, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna address it. So I try to use my craft to uplift others and um, and um, uh, motivate others and make people enjoy themselves. You know mm. what I mean? 100%. So the, it is all it all depends on the, the 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 rhythm that give me the vibe. The rhythm is what it was inspire me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hear that. I hear that. Yeah. The the beat the beat have a lot to do with it. You know what I mean? So if I get a if I, if I, if if you get a soul so R and B beat, you're gonna hear a R and B song. If you get an Afro beat, you're gonna get an Afro Afro song. If you get a dance or whining beat or a party beat, you're gonna get that type of thing. If I get an electronic electronic beat, you're gonna get. So if I get a reggaeton beat, you're gonna get whatever. Yeah. So I, I just try to be creative as much as possible. So I don't try to enclose myself in a in a, in a, in a bracket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear that definitely. We have another question. They're asking. Has the internet helped you and your career, or has it hindered you? Um, I'll repeat that question for me, please. I didn't hear. No worries. So the, a listener is asking, did, has the internet hindered your career, or has it helped you? If it, end, if it ended my career, if it helped me? Yeah, so hindered is like, you know, has it kind of put you back? Like, do you have to keep on thinking, oh, what will look good on the internet, that kind of thing? Uh, not necessarily not necessarily uh, i just i just continue to work because I'm, I'm i'm doing music 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 is really my legacy yeah. and it's really it is it, it, so while while the, the the world changes i try to change with the time yeah. so i don't have problem with the internet music change you change with the music mm. it, it used to be it used to be cassette yeah it used to be a record no, it come digital. It is it is it is in the um the digital age now, right? Yeah. So now, you know everything is is the barcode, all of that. You know what I mean? You know you have to change with the time and market your music while the time changes. Mm. That's how you go. You go. You go stream. Yeah, I hear that. I mean, so it, so I, I always gonna change with the time. Yeah, man, I hear you know that. What I mean, so. Uh, we don't have problem with good changes, you know what I mean? We have problems with bad changes. As long as it change for the worse, we got a problem. But if it change for the better, we're good. Because the internet makes music easier for every artist. Yeah. You know what I mean? That. Internet help a lot because an artist can say something in just their phone screen and TikTok or somewhere they go viral on your bus. Yeah, I hear that, I hear that. You know what I mean? Back in ideas when you didn't have those devices, they don't have social media, they don't have none of those type of thing. Mm -hmm. So, sell the listener that it's a plus and the internet, I love the internet. Okay, you know okay. I mean? Yeah, man, I hear that. But you know, I know for a fact that you, you also, you take on the losses, you learn from these losses. So tell us about that because obviously the internet is not always a pleasant place. So how do you kind of take criticism and, you know, people critiquing what you're doing? How do you take that? Listen, um, nobody, nobody, everybody not going to like what you're doing. Yeah. When you're doing the, 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 um, the uh, good things, right? Because remember you have people where, 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 um, bad mind. Yeah. People, bad mind. So people, are, people are going to criticize you uh, when you're doing the best things, right? So you have to prepare for good criticism and bad critiques, right? Mm -hmm. Because people... I go see I do the best and I want to tear it down. Even when they are doing things to perfection and they still have something to say. Yeah, that's right? true. Right? That's somebody trying to tear it down. But is somebody going to give you a criticism and try to 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 to, to, to tell you something to, to enhance your career and enhance your talent? I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. But when I, when persons come to tear me down, it only makes me stronger in a way. So I don't even pay attention to people like that. Yeah, man. Uh, so for example, I'm on, the, uh, I'm on a stage performing. And somebody, one person out of one million persons saying, oh, get off the stage. What are you going to do? You're going to stop your, your set to say, oh, move from the stage. 
No, you continue to perform and just play a blind ears yeah. or a, a bl blind eye or a, or a deaf ears to what the person got to say. Yeah. Because you don't it. know if the person is intoxicated or anything. You know what mm. I'm saying? So you have to just know to know what you have to do and know your journey and know and, and know and know your focus and know where you're trying to head in life. You can't get distracted, you can't get you can't you have to stay focused, you know what I'm saying? Yeah man, a hundred percent. So you know, for yourself, what can the listeners look forward to? Because lots of people are asking about albums, how they can check you, how they can look out for you. So tell the listeners. Um I have a new album um uh, about to release um by you with entertainment from New York. Yeah. Uh, the the album is mental orgasm. I mean, mm -hmm. so from you hear that word, you know it's gonna be a crazy, 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 crazy type of work. Yeah, full of vibe, full of energy, full of style. You know what I mean? So it's it is the, the album is called Mental Orgasm. So look out for that album about to release release anytime soon. We don't set a release date as yet, but we're working on it because the fans is the fans has been asking for it. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, for some time now, so we have to hurry up and get the album out. Yeah. So where the fans could find me, like I'm all over social media. It's Miguel Welty Music. Yeah. Right. Doesn't matter where you go. If you go Instagram, if you go Facebook, if you go YouTube, you know what I mean. If you go, you know what I mean. If you go on TikTok, it's Miguel Welty Music. You can't miss one word. Yeah, man, I like that still. And of course, you know, before we go, before we end the interview for this time. Would you be up for singing a little something for the listeners out there? Um, repeat that for me. So before we go, before we end the interview at this time, would you be up for singing a little something for the listeners out there? Oh, you want me to sing something for the listeners out there? Yeah, man. All right, then. Hey, man, I'm a DJ, cat. Yeah, 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 man, cat, cat, tell you. If I was a criminal and you are the judge... I was sentenced to life in your love. If I was marijuana and you had a job, I was addicted to your love, oh girl. Never detox, never seek rehabilitation. When you're feeling sick, want to be your medication. So when you're feeling down, want to be your motivation. If loving is a crime, me no mind get a conviction. Sentence me to life up in a your middle section. Then you lock me up in your life, no separation. Me no want no parole, no no probation. If I was a criminal and you had a judge. One sentence to life in all your love. If I was marijuana and you had a drugs. My boy addicted to your love, oh girl. The prosecutor charged me for burglary. Them said me break inside your wall. So they might charge me for trespassing and illegal entry. But me now can break your heart. So them can't charge me for destruction of properties. My never want to trial. So me plead guilty. The judge and the jury now say me guilty for loving you until eternity. Want to spend my life with you. We don't only want to spend one night with you. Like how me spend cash, I want to spend time with you. Until death do us apart, but I mind down with you. If I was a criminal and you are the judge. For a sentence to life in your love. Hey. <laughs> oh, 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 every time. <laughs> Yeah, man, you know what, Miguel Wealthy, you've been a blessing to speak to, and I'm sure we're going to keep hearing more and more and more about you. It's been a great blessing. Any final words, final thoughts from you? Yes, yeah, a blessing for um, having me as well on Arawak Radio, you know. It's a blessing, and I thank you all. Thank all the listeners, you know what I mean? And, and we got the production team, you with entertainment, based in New York, you know what I mean? The whole management team, you know what I mean? Big up King Kenny, make it possible. Yeah, big up. I mean, big up entire Jamaica, Clarendon, Wandan, yeah. Kingston. Big up the world. Europe, <laughs> Every time. Italy. Yeah. France. You know, there's something come down though. America, England, London, the world, I listen to. Arawak yeah. Radio, you know, you go. Probably say Arawak, you think you should. Nah, we ain't Yeah, for real. More love, yeah? We'll speak again soon, and I hope you have a yeah, blessed man, rest of the love, day. One love, man. One love, give thanks and blessings and greetings at all times. You know what I mean? You can link me anytime you want to link me door. Yeah, man, for real. One portal. Bless up, bless. 
Yes, people, please do go and support Miguel Wealthy. Go and check him out, okay? Make sure you keep it locked into the Big Bad Station each and every time. But right now, we're playing a tune from Miguel Wealthy. This one is called Blessing. So make sure you keep it locked. It's a vibe. Here we go. Yeah. 